I found this circular wall hanging with an acrylic center from Joanne Fabrics online. And I got these three sheets of vinyl from the Target craft section for $3. And I'm just going to take one of the patterns, turn it over, and I'm going to trace my circle on the back side of the vinyl. And then just using a pair of scissors, I'm just going to cut out my circle. I then got this board from Target as well. It was $3. It's a 12 inch diameter. And I liked it because it is a reversible board. It's stained on one side and like whitewashed on the other. I then took my circle vinyl that we cut and I just placed it in the center. And you just want to rub the vinyl flat. Now this is a peel and stick vinyl meant for the Cricut. I took the back side of the vinyl circle and I just trimmed it down a little bit. And I want it to fit, does not have to be a perfect circle, I just want it to fit on the inside of the acrylic center here because I want to paint the wood that goes around the acrylic. And I'm using some Wise Owl Goldenrod and this is just going to help eliminate getting some on the acrylic. And if I did get any on the acrylic, I just took my baby wipe and just wiped it off right away. It came right up with no problems. And then I just allowed the golden rod to fully dry. Next, I'm going to take some E6000 and go around the wood ring. And I'm just going to place that on top of the vinyl that we stuck on our board from Target. Next, I got more peel and stick pre-cut vinyl from Target. It came with two sheets. It says, home is my happy place. And the other one just said, love with a heart. I'm gonna take some contact paper. Now you can find this right at the Dollar Tree. And the contact paper, you just peel up and you lay it on top of your pre-cut vinyl and you rub it down. Now I'm just taking my transfer tool to help rub it. And as you lift the contact paper, it will lift the vinyl. Now this is good when you have um, a phrase or if you want to make sure everything stays pretty straight. The contact paper is great for that. So now I have my entire phrase that it's on the contact paper and I'm placing it down on top of my acrylic and you rub it off. And then I did the same thing with the three hearts. Now if I were to just peel each heart individually, the chances of me laying them down pretty evenly would be slim. So the contact paper is not necessary, but it definitely helps everything to come out more even. Now I got these artificial flowers from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut them off of the stem and just using the tip of each stem where the flower buds are, I'm just going to glue two together and wrap the center with some buffalo check ribbon. Now it does not have to be this ribbon, this was just a good size. It could be just jute as well. It does not have to be anything decorative you're most likely not going to see the buffalo check ribbon once we're done. I'm just going to glue it to the top of my circle here, and then I'm just going to glue down the ends so they're not just hanging in any direction. And then I'm going to fill in that space at the top with some more flowers. And now you can use any artificial flower for the top here. You can use a nice greenery. And there we go. Now we have this home is my happy place wall hanging. I hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget you can check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.